Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episodes 9 and 10 of Nyan Nyan Bayori. Just gotta get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> really, Renga? Yeah, good job. Oh, fine. And besides, there's really what the only the five of y'all kids. Yeah, that seems very last minute. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> of course, I mean, you're already here. Really, 
Of course. You just closed the shop for the night or the just day. How can you say no to Renga? She's just... She is the Kana of this show. You can't say no to her. See? Get, 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 um, get them puppy dog eyes. Get them crying tears going. This is why, as an adult, I hate adulting because now I feel like I have no time for anything, especially with my new job. And sometimes I'm not coming home until either early in the day or late at night. But the good thing is, once again, as we talked about a couple weeks ago, I get paid a lot more here than I did at my old job. And I'm working more hours. So I do like that. I just hate the fact that I only get like two days off every week. But really, that was the same with my old job, though. No, I got three days off, so. Let me oh you're a trapeze No. Baby, baby can't cook. 
I mean, she probably could, but you know, hey, dangerous. Don't need her to get hurt. Is she a tanuki? <gasps> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> She is. Nice. No. Power in it, Jesus. That's why, once again, I can never work in food service. That That's too much pressure. Same thing, I mean, as someone who's worked in customer service and now officially in the medical field and such, I still can't do it. I don't know how some people do it. She about to beat the crap out of you, baby. But at least you all got it done, though.
event. You can't do it by yourself? And it'll pop back up. She's just gonna, because of this, her room is just gonna get messier and it's just gonna be worse. <gasps> this Linky? We don't have time, no. Nope. Right. Yep, let's get done. Mm.
Yeah, we're into DVDs now. Blu-rays and everything, but no, we're also into streaming, too. Hugely into streaming. Well, even then, he was still a silent protagonist. <laughs> These are the times that I'm definitely grateful I don't have a brother or a sister because then I'll have to say something really crazy when I was a kid. It's okay. Just put it in the back of your mind and then just be like, we will never, ever, ever talk about this again. And then that's okay. Okay. But no, the culture festival was really sweet. Even though in the end, they had to have help from everybody. It still worked out though. But no, the moral of the story is don't plan something in advance, especially so late last minute, because, you know, it's just going to go complete and utter chaos. Very much so. It's very, very bad. Like, trust me. B-A-D. Hella bad. Like, I remember one time, I think I was supposed to like, record something. Um, and this was a week Excuse me. This is a week where I was extremely busy. I think at the time I was still working at UPS. Um, it was extremely busy. I had a whole bunch of things that I had to get done before the week was over and such. And so coming home at a, at a certain time and then you were dead tired and then having to record and stuff and I had to push back and stuff. I hate when I do that. But um, I'm glad that you guys understand. There's some people that do and some people that don't. And I get it. It, it is what it is at the end of the day. And I'm praying that going into fall anime, that is not, like, consistent because the fact is, like, uh, my schedule, because, number one, I haven't figured out, like, what the hell I'm watching for fall. Like, th there's a couple I'm already signed on for. Like, of course, the next part of Bleach and a couple other things. But it gets super hard when you're trying to balance out, like, when is the best time to record when 9 out of 10, I either have to be to work at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., or sometimes I have to be to work, at, like, in the afternoon. And sometimes I don't, like, like I said, um, with the, uh, Gigi Harm video, I sometimes don't get up until maybe a few hours before, like, especially if I'm in the afternoon shift, I don't get up until, like, a few hours before I have to go to work. Uh, whew, excuse me, I know I'm not coming home till late. So I am like extremely dead tired. Like all last week, I was extremely tired. Having coming home at like nine o'clock at night, um, possibly having very much little time to record, and then still having to go to work the next day, and such. So it's really hard sometimes to make time. But I'm loving still to make time for you guys and such. That's why I hated postponing this last week. It was the worst thing because I was like, oh my god, I I have to, but. As much as I didn't want to, I knew I had to. And I'm, I'm glad that you, a lot of you guys truly understand and was like, I get you because work. I hate adulting. I wish I could just go back to being a teenager or just like, uh, yeah, like a teenager-ish. But then at the same time, probably at that, I would have had a job and everything. But <sighs> adulting. Goddamn. Don't grow up so fast. Because <laughs> when you're an adult, oh my god. When it's tax season. Hell on earth. <laughs> Hell on earth. And I gotta do it twice next year. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. 
All right, episode 10 in three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. I gotta ask something. When this show was airing, did they actually sell a whole bunch of coma plushies and ish? I mean, probably they did. And if they did, I would love to have bought one. <laughs> Honey, it's too cold outside, not your PJs. Oh. 
All right. Yellow onions, too, and peppers. <laughs> Hurry. Aww. Yeah, that's why we need some flashlights. So that means it's three. Is her sister wearing a mask? <laughs> she is. Oh my god. <laughs> You know what, let me go ahead and ask this because I don't think I searched up who plays her. Who voices Renge? Because her voice is very familiar, like I've heard her in something that I've either watched currently or something in the past. And then just hearing the song, I get reminded of the TikTok sound. <laughs> because that was actually my first time that I knew about her. Mm -hmm. It is. Not my prize cow. <laughs> That's not bad.
does she like you? Uh oh. Oh, Jesus! Woo! Oh, okay. This child. <laughs> I'm gonna like, I don't want that right now. <laughs> right, and they can't communicate with you, but you, you have to, it's that telepathy. <laughs> Don't start crying even if the baby does? Okay, so I can't have a breakdown in front of the baby? Number one. Ren? Oh, no, 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 not the kitty! Not the kitty! You okay? No, 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 no. No! Oh. That it is on and ha well, Cody is my child, but Jesus, I cannot imagine having a kid that looks like me. Hmm? Uh, well, dang, girl. Okay, then. I'm gonna hang out with her.
That means basically they sold out. Aren't they Renge's weapons? There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and it doesn't really take that long to fall in love with a kid. So I can see why she has, like, the best relationship with friend guy. Y'all left her! Girl, you all right? I mean, damn, help her. Take off the mask. Hell no. Alright, let's relax for a good couple of minutes. Pretty, ain't it? Yeah. It's like when you were a kid and you and your friends, you stayed up all night until it was like early in the morning and then you would go to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, happy new year. Yeah, note to self, don't wear it again. You're like, can I go home and go back to sleep? Oh, big girl. Please don't choke on the mochi. 
That was cute, though. Oh, is she sleeping in Renge's room with Renge? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Old times. Aww. In a way, even though, yes, Renge has her sisters and her mother figure who we have not seen yet and such, she looks to Candy Lady as a mother figure in a way, just as much as she has her sisters. And, and so to see their relationship, you know, develop into the relationship that they have now, to see how she was as a baby, like, oof. And, and she's gonna always remember that for the rest of their life and the connection that she has with Candy Lady. And I think that's really wholesome. That is, like, the most adorable thing. I, I felt like that, you know, there's this girl who, when I lived in Nebraska for six whole fucking years, um, a majority of the people that, or I won't say people, families, um, I met, there was this one girl, like, because I was always the oldest and majority of the families I met, majority of their kids were very younger than me and that was always, like, the disadvantage and stuff. So anytime when we were, um, hanging out with a group of family and their kids, I always felt like I was quote unquote babysitting. Um, and such. And I remember I had a conversation with my mom about this, but there was this one kid. Well, mm, I'll say two. Two girls who really like attached to me at the hip. And then years later, when I met them again, or when I met one of them again, Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so years later, when I met them again, she was officially, I think, she was starting high school and such. Because the last time I saw this little girl, she was very young. At least she had to be at least six or seven around Rungay's age. Um,. And such and so now she had a sister and you know she at the time she ha she was having a brother her brother was a couple of years younger than her so I got to meet them older wise and her little sister took an attachment to me and always wanted to hang out with me and stuff and, and I love that about kids like it's the cutest thing in the world because once they there's a there's this weird little look and Renge did it several times around the candy lady where she just looks like deep into her eyes almost like looking at her soul where she's like, okay, I'm attached to you at the hip. It's almost like, okay, when you find a, when you're wanting to go out and get a pet and such, and you, or you go out and buy a pet or you would adopt a pet and you take the pet home and the pet is now the dog, cat, whatever, they're absorbing their new surroundings, their new quote unquote home and such, because they're like, okay, I got to see what's good, what's bad, whatever and such. There is a point where that animal is happy, very, very happy. Like, you know how, like, when Stitch does the little, like, squinting in the eyes and just happy and stuff? I love that shit. Because Cody does that all the freaking time, and I'm like, ah, look at that, so freaking cute. Yad and Kiana did that, too. I miss Yad and Kiana so much. Um, My other two, two dogs, by the way, if you're asking, who are, like, my sisters to me. Um, Cody, like, with him, because what I did with him, uh, I'll, I'll never forget that one rainy day in April, um, coming home and literally like taking him under my wing. I was like, nobody is looking at this dog but me. My mom only got to see the dog for like five minutes every day. And I was like, no, 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 the dog is staying with me. Cody, like, um, there was a moment where Cody, like dead center, dead ass looked at me, like looked into my soul. And he was like, almost saying like, I like you. You know, I I had a mama. You are my new mama and such. That's why Cody is so, like, as much as his relationship has now blossomed with my mom, he is so very much attached to me. It, it's not even funny. Like, for an example, last night after I watched the VMAs, um, I fell asleep. <laughs> and normally, like, the routine I have is, like, when I'm getting ready to go to bed, I always go get Cody. But when I fall asleep and I have my door open and my lights are still on and such... 
Cody will literally take it upon himself. He'll stay in the living room with my mom for like a certain amount of hours. And then if it's like three, four o'clock in the morning, he will get up, walk his little behind into the room and go to the corner of my bed and he'll get on his hind legs and he'll start crying and wake me up. Basically saying like, why didn't you come get me? I'm your child. You, I have to be with you 24 seven. Mind you, this is the same dog who, when I went on a lunch date with my dad and he had to spend time with my mom for like, I think several hours straight, this dog was crying over the fact that I was not around him. And I was like, oh my God, it's okay. Cody has like major, major, major separation anxiety with me. Um, it got worse when I, I, I love slash hate telling the story. Um, when I went on a girl's trip with my mom's friends and such, I left him for a whole weekend. And I'm thinking like, okay, he's going to be fine. Um, He's interacted with my aunt and my uncle, my cousin before everything and their dog. So everything's going to be okay. I made sure to get him a lot of food, a lot of water, made sure to bring home or take with him things that reminded or smelled of me and my mom because he's so attached and stuff. This poor baby, like he was immediately depressed. Like the next day, I think it was a Saturday, Saturday morning. Um, I immediately like FaceTime. I was like, let me see him. I got to see him. I got to see him and such. And so he was drinking, but he wasn't eating. And I am over here having like the biggest panic attack and such. Mind you, later on in the day, um, wore some heels, very nice, like platinum platform wedges, went on a boat trip or a, like a boat tour around like, um, mid St. Augustine, got off the boat, scraped my freaking knee on the dock and such, had all that crap all up in my knee and getting infected and everything and dealing with the BS of everything else. <laughs> so I had the worst weekend that week, but you know, at the same time, you know what was funny? Chainsaw Man got announced that weekend. <laughs> so I will never forget that weekend for... Good and bad reasons. Bad reasons because that was the worst girl shit from hell that I had ever had. And mind you, those women were not my friends. They were my mom's friends, so they were kind of my friends in a way, but still. And then, you know, Chainsaw Man getting announced that weekend and having a trailer. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. I might watch it. But scraping my knee was, oh my god. And then the next day, um, we were only there... Uh, for the whole weekend. And we had to leave, like, I think mid-afternoon or whatever. We got everything in the car. And we sped to my aunt's house. And I'm running in the house. I'm like, come here, guys. It's okay. Oh, my God. And I was like, are you okay? I was like, everything's fine. I'm here. I, I was an emotional mommy that day. That whole weekend. Like, Jesus Christ. So, I, I cannot imagine if I ever went to, like, Japan and that dog is not with me. That dog, I feel like that dog is going to have the biggest panic attack and such. Because I feel for him oh so much because he's just so attached to me. He, he's my baby. And, and I, I think a lot of people very much understand that. Like, when you have a pet, that's your baby. <laughs> as much as we all like to make fun, like, yes, I birthed it him. <laughs> and such. That's my baby. That is my pride and joy. And I'm very always happy for him. Even, like... Times when that little boy gets on my nerves. I love him to death. Even the times when I had to take his little behind to the vet and I am over here crying over this dog. I love this dog so freaking much. And he will always be my pride and joy besides Yan and Kiana and such. I, I love him just as much as I love Yan and Kiana and I do miss them every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think of my two previous dogs. Oh, all right. No more. I'm not going to cry. I got to get some other things done. But no, this is a really cute flashback episode. I think honestly, this might be my favorite episode thus far for now until we get into something else or anytime when, you know, um, what's her face gets scared. <laughs> that crap is hilarious. But 
I'm Jay that guys. That is my reaction to future episodes 9 and 10 of Nyan Nyan by Yori. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Measure Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for, I think, the final two episodes of season one, I am guessing. I, I think it is 12 or 13 episodes. And then, of course, because I'm going to go ahead and say this now, I will also say this next week as well. Once we are done with season one, I am going on to something else. But that does not mean I'm not coming back to this show. Once this show is over, like I said, going back to something, going to something else, something new, probably that's like a one off season. And then I will come back to this show to continue for season two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.